Hello, beautiful beings. I'm so happy to be here with you today. It's December 11th and it is three o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And I'm here today to do a little bit of Reiki with you all. I haven't done one of these healing circles in quite a while. And I think this is a really good time of the year to do it because everyone's so busy and things are happening and life is very full right? I mean, I know for me to even, hi, Aunt Susie. <laughs> Hello, everyone who's coming on. Um, acknowledge yourself for being here for this healing circle. Because like I said, this is a busy time of year. And this is the time where we need to schedule. <laughs> There's so much happening, right? Schedule times for active rest. Schedule times where we can be quiet, be still honor and acknowledge ourselves for the busy times that it is. And today we're gonna to talk about radiant health. As those of you know who are on here right now, I'm a Living Light Reiki Master and I support a lot of women to feel good in their bodies and to have a healthy relationship with food. And I was thinking about that. That's like radiance, right? Like what does, for those who are coming on, I'd love to know what radiant health means to you. When you think about radiant health, what comes to mind? Like those moments that you've had radiant health, what was happening? What was happening in your body? What was happening in your life? What was happening with your mind? Were you calm? Were you not stressed? Were you feeling alive? Like what did that look like and what did that feel like? I'd love to know. Okay, people are coming on. Awesome. Great. Let me know. For me, I think it all depends on the day, right? I mean, if we are just feeling, um, if we're not feeling well, and then we all of a sudden start to feel better, it can be like, oh my God, I'm so grateful that I can get out of bed today. That can feel like that's radiant health, right? I know in my journey with my body, with my relationship with my body, that I thought radiant health meant that I, my body was strong and I was thin and I looked like, you know, it was like the perfect body, but actually radiant health didn't look like that at all. Radiant health meant that I was nourishing myself. It meant that I had more flesh on my body. Radiant health is for me at this point, like being available feeling available to be in a place of love for those that are around me and for myself. Hello, everyone who's coming. Thank you. If you're here, anything that I'm saying as I'm talking, I invite you to just shoot some likes, some hearts. Definitely put your name in and tell me why you're here. This is a healing circle. I would love to know what would support you today. What would today look like if you had more radiance, if you felt more radiant right now? What would that feel like and be like? Like we can have this bigger picture of like, oh, if I'm, if I'm in radiant health, it looks like, oh, that, you know, that um, health issue goes away and I'm all of a sudden not triggered by that person. Like we have these grandiose ideas of what radiant health can mean, but what about right here and now? Do you have a, did you have a really long day and now you're winding down? Like what could that mean for you right here and now to bring in more radiance? So I love what, being surrounded by love and divine energy time for self-healing. Beautiful. Thank you, Star. Loving rest. Yes. So what are you calling in for? Yes, for your life. Yes, for 2020. Yes, for these ho this holiday season. But like right now. So think about that. For me, radiant health would feel like jumping on my trampoline after I'm done here. <laughs> and then just kind of chilling out for the rest of the day. Like I know that that would make me, my body feel good if I got a really good night's sleep. So what about you? Oftentimes it is about 
Hello to everyone who's joining. A lot of times it is about slowing down, right? We think about radiance, it can be like, woo, right? That word is like shining. But sometimes we shine because we slow down. We are connected to ourselves. We are able to feel ourselves and our heart and notice what is present around us. From that place, we can radiate no matter what is going on in our bodies and in our lives. So this is a healing circle and it does use the energy of Reiki. So a lot of you who are watching right now do already know what Reiki is, but for those of you who don't, I'm just gonna share a little bit with you. So Reiki is this beautiful, loving energy and it is the energy, Ray is universal life force energy, the energy of love. And key is that presence within yourself. So when you bring those together, you have Reiki. What Reiki does is it releases stress in your body so that your body can heal itself, right? We're releasing stress in our body. What keeps us from feeling good? It's stress, right? It's often stress. When we have too much stress and we're in overwhelm, we go into coping mechanisms that often can bring up shame or upset or disharmony. But when we do not have this level of stress on many levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, our bodies can begin to radiate at the true essence right, at our true essence, which is light and love and beauty. So I've been sharing Reiki for about 16, 17 years now, and I've seen amazing miracles happen for people, uh, for myself, giving it, having this as my tool to align myself and heal myself, and I've seen this in others. I have a program called Everyday Reiki where I send Reiki to people every single day and then coach them throughout the year. And this is another way for them to, in this program, release stress and come back to that radiant self. So we're going to do some Reiki right now. And if you are not on here live, so go ahead. If you haven't already Go ahead. What well, I love what Jessica is saying, honoring what is true, not taking things perfect personally, hydration, rest, being present, being open, available to receive. Oh, Jessica, I love that. Oh, yes, that is so, that is radiance, isn't it? Wow, honoring what is true. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. So if you have a calling, then go ahead and please put it in the comments. For those of you who are watching this on the replay, we're creating a container here. And if you're watching this on the replay, you're diving into this healing energy. So you are also receiving, regardless if you're watching on the replay or not. Okay, so when we dive into the meditation and we begin to center ourselves in the Reiki, know that the Reiki is coming to you. Also, thank you to everyone who emailed me or sent me a private message who wasn't able to be here live. You are here right now and the healing is coming to you. And I'm just dropping everyone that I love into this space and everyone who is in need of love and care. And all the, all, all, the, all the people who are suffering or challenged and to our beautiful earth, we just bring and align everyone into this moment. And together, wherever you are right now, we are creating this beautiful healing circle. So I invite you to go ahead and to close your eyes if you're able. And let me just mention that um, Reiki can be, obviously can be sent long distance. And I like to think of it as prayer with an oomph. As someone who's a Reiki practitioner, able to send Reiki to others. So we're going to do that right now. And you are going to be the recipient of that. So the invitation is to maybe have one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly or your 
or your solar plexus or not at all, whatever is comfortable for you. Hmm. Go ahead and close your eyes and I'll be closing and opening my eyes just to make sure that Mm, and of course, my son is coming home right now, right outside the door, so calling him into the circle. So go ahead and just close your eyes. Allow yourself to sink into your belly. Let yourself sink into your pelvis. Let yourself sink lower down into your womb into your sacrum and just taking some gentle inhales and exhales and just allow all of the energy from your head and all of the thinking doing what is next sort of energy just to sink down i'm just going to support you to do that by just sending reiki down through your body Letting all parts of you relax. Oh, can you let yourself relax a little bit more? The more open you are to receiving, the more Reiki that is going to flow into your body and into your being. So softening your jaw, softening your eyes and their sockets letting your tongue become heavy, softening your heart. Oh, this beautiful heart of yours. Can you open to receive Reiki into the places in your heart that are closed or shut off or in fear or feel vulnerable or scared? Maybe places you're not even able to access or even know about. We're sending Reiki into these deep places in you. You are so loved. You are so loved right now. And just imagining that beautiful energy is wrapping its arms around you. Mm. Mm. Imagine that you are in a cocoon of love and everything that you need for yourself right here and right now is being called to you. Relax more, soften more. Relax more. Let your mind go. Let your mind go, soften. Go into a place in your body that feels good. Go into a place of your body where there's pleasure and go in there. Feel that pleasure, soften deeper into it. I allow myself to feel, I allow myself to feel. Any place in your body that is blocked or has tension, feel the energy of Reiki, love energy, coming up and wrapping its arms around that part of you. And if you are not able to feel anything right now, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes we feel things, sometimes we don't. It does not mean that the energy is not there for you. Your intention for being here right now is asking the universe, asking spirit, asking God for support and love in your life. Soften more, relax more. Beautiful white loving energy pouring into your body right now. Releasing something that you don't need. Negative belief systems, letting go. Shame, letting go. Pain, letting go. Underneath all of this is more radiance, more health, more vitality. Another couple moments here, holding space for yourself. Mm, let's breathe in some love into the body. Deeply inhaling. 
Deeply exhaling. Deeply inhaling. Deeply exhaling. Stay with it. Stay with yourself right now. Stay with the relaxation. Stay with softness. Hmm. You're allowed to feel good. You're allowed to be loved. You're allowed to feel good. Even in the midst of all you have going on in your life, you're allowed to radiate. Just take another moment or two. Breathing this energy deep into the center of, of your being, of your body, igniting your soul energy, that beautiful essence that you were, you were that was birthed into this body. Another inhale and another exhale and go ahead and stay here if you want, but if you're ready, go ahead and maybe move your hands and your fingers and your body around a little bit and kind of waking yourself up, maybe doing some stretching. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. And if you're just joining, thank you for being here. We just did some beautiful Reiki healing. Go back and watch from the beginning and get some of the energy for yourself. I'd love to hear from you all. How was your experience with that? What did you feel? Did you notice anything? Did you notice where you were maybe blocking the energy? Did you notice where maybe, hmm, there's a deepening that can happen. What was present for you? during this little meditation for yourself. And I'll wait for the comments to come in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for that to happen. You know, um, when we do these healings and we, when we allow ourselves to relax, we have an experience, right? Like right now we're having an experience. And I always tell my clients and the, who receive Reiki. It's like, yes, you're having an experience, but it's what happens afterwards. It's what happens later on in the day when you don't re react to something that usually would trigger you. It's being able to fall asleep later on at night. It's getting a boost of energy. So just look and notice what, how this actually shows up in your life. And if you're needing and wanting more, then please reach out to me. I have so many different meditations and guided meditations. My YouTube has a bunch of different things because this is, like I said, a busy time of year and we're coming to a close on this decade, which is kind of crazy. So what are we calling in? What are we calling in for our lives? So let's see what I'm getting here. Just sat down to rest and your life came up. I feel great, rested a beautiful experience and smelling. Yay. And star feels lighter. Awesome. Great. So glad to hear this. So how can we bring this into our day and how can we let ourselves radiate no matter what is going on in our lives? Uh, I wanted to share with you an opportunity that may serve you or someone that you love. I mentioned before we did the healing that I have a program called Everyday Reiki. I've been doing this now. This will be my third year, and I love doing this practice, which is sending people Reiki every single day. I'm, it, it's such a powerful experience to be with people's energy and energy field and sending them Reiki every day. And also on top of sharing with them every single day, I get to have, what happens is we have coaching sessions throughout the year. We have healing circles with the group. Next year, I'm gonna have guest speakers. So if this sounds interesting to you and you're wanting to find a way to feel supported, because what's so wonderful about this program is people feel supported. They know that someone's sending them Reiki every day. They know that, that they're being supported with their health. They know if they have something going on, they can email me and say, Marla, can you send Reiki to this aspect of my life? Can you, can we do a session? Can we do a, a long distance session around this issue? So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, I'm going to go ahead and put it in, in the link below. And I would love for you to check it out. It's called Everyday Reiki for Radiant Health. Let's see if anyone has anything else to say here. Feeling great. Oh, hi, Ellen. Yay. Hi, Kim. Oh, I'm so glad. More flow. Great. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so 
so happy to share this and I need to do it more because it's really fun to do and it's a great opportunity for everyone. So I'm sending you all so much love. Once again, if you want to hear more about Everyday Reiki for Radiant Health, go ahead and check out the link below when I put it up and, and or PM me or send me an email and we can talk more about it. Okay, everyone, Mwah. sending you so much love. Bye.